My name is Jennifer, and this is my husband, Michael, and our son, Corvin. Join us each week as we share a little bit about our lives and journey to better health. We are the Repay family. Just measured uh, over six feet is how far apart you want or the minimum how close you need your electrical outlets to be. So this is an electrical outlet box and standard is to have it 12 inches up from the floor. So I went ahead and cut a two by four just to use um, to make things a little bit quicker. Spread it 12 inches. Set and hold it. And then you just nail it on. The other thing you want to do ahead of time, as you can see on here, there's these little tabs in the back. You want to go ahead and pop them off. Now you can do it by hand, sort of, but it's they're pretty. Um, pretty heavy duty plastic, so I like to just take a razor blade and just nick it. Just like try and get it to the way that you can see what I'm doing here. Just go on the top and then go on the bottom, pops right off. <clears throat> so now that's where your electrical line is going to go down in. There. It's always one at the top and the bottom. Pull it out. Alright. And probably the only reason you want two of them like that is if you're going to pull from this box to another one as well as a coming in line. So you got one going in, one going out. Okay. Put the other box on. There are two little tabs right here that are so the box is held out away from the studs, just enough for your sheetrock to end up making it flush to the outside. So your sheetrock's going to be roughly the thickness of these guys. Leave yourself plenty of extra here um, initially so that you have enough room to split the wires and everything. back of these, you got one side that says uh, hot wire and white wire. So your hot wire is the black one, and the white wire obviously is the white one. Um, and then the green screw up here, that in particular is for the gray one. So that's the one that has basically no shielding around it at all. It's just pure copper. Might have a little bit of this sort of paper stuff around it. So, kind of bend this a little bit. So it actually goes around.
got it nice and tight on there. It's not going anywhere. My hook is really good and tight on it. That's what you want for each one of these. So the next one I'm going to do is the ground right here. And I'll take and make a loop here and then attach it. Okay. 